All right. So you've heard that folks in the Big Easy have a language all their own. You're curious and confused about these special terms. There's a lot of them. That's right. Stick around for part two in our series that breaks down the ABCs of the language in the Big Easy. everyone. Last episode in this series, we tackled just the letters A and B. There's a lot. That's how many unique terms we have. Now, if you want to get caught up... You should watch that episode. Yep. If you want to get caught up, you can follow the link here to see that video. It's pretty interesting. Now, let's jump into some more of our culture's unique words, terms, and phrases. If you have others that you think... If we... <laughs> If you, have, um. if you have others that you think you should, if, if, you, if you have others that you think we should cover, please mention it in the comments below. We also want to tell you, take a look at our website at www.bigeasylife.org. Check out our merch store, our blogs, and all our posts are there collecting. As you can see, i got Little Easy here with me, and uh, I'm going to let him take the first one. We're in C. I and he's trying to read the teleprompter and he's not doing a very good job. I'll do it. <laughs> you just work as comic relief and comment. Exactly. All right. First up in C is Cafe au lait. This is coffee with milk, famously served at Cafe du Monde. Pretty easy one. We we'll start off easy for everybody. Yeah. Everybody knows Cafe du Monde. That's right. Next up is Cajun. Now, this is French Acadians who settled here after immigrating from Canada. Now, if you're interested in that, please check out our Creole versus Cajun episode, and we'll put a link. Yeah. I'll put a link right in front of his face. <laughs> I just there, there's just a little. <laughs> there's just an icon uh, on top of my face. Right. Okay. Next up is Camelback. Now, this is a single row house with the back half made into a two story. The front section remains a uh, single. Next up is Calais. This is the first Spanish word we're throwing at you. This Spanish word is for street, and you'll see signs all around the French Quarter that have the Spanish pronunciation of the streets during the time that Spain was in control of New Orleans. Next up has two terms. Let's start with calliope. Now that's a musical instrument found on the steamboats. It's consistent of a set of steam whistles played from a keyboard. If you pronounce it calliope, it's the street in the muses section of town. We have our own way, as you see. All right, next up is Carnival. That's the party season before Mardi Gras. Starts on January 6th, that's 12th night. We also have an episode for that. Mm -hmm. Celebrate it with king cakes and Mardi Gras parties. It's a lot of fun. Mardi Gras before Mardi Gras. I know, Mardi Gras is the day, Carnival is the season. Next up is Cayenne. Now, if anybody watches the Food Channel, you've seen this used a lot of time. It's a hot pepper that is dried and used in the seasoning in many Louisiana dishes. Now, next up is Cher. Now, I don't mean the singer with the long black hair from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Coming from... <laughs> he has no idea. And that's why I looked at you like that. Coming from the French word, Cherie. It's a term of affection. It means dear or love. It's heard more in the Cajun areas, but you're still here by many natives. It'd be like, how you doing, Cher? I'm doing good. Hey, you see? See, that's how that works. Next up is chicory. Now, that's the root of a lettuce-like vegetable, which is dried, ground, roasted, and used to flavor coffee. To eliminate coffee imports, chicory was used as a complete substitute for a while. This did not last, though. Every, what, this, everybody needed their coffee. Yeah, it didn't last for more than a few years because chicory doesn't have caffeine in it. There, if there's one thing that you are not going to get in between, it's don't take the caffeine out of a coffee addict's coffee. That's there right. There we go. Now, the French continued to use chicory to blend with their coffee. Jump to the Civil War, Louisiana looked to adding chicory root to their coffee when Union naval blockades cut off the port of New Orleans. With shipments coming to a halt, desperate New Orleanians began mixing things with coffee to stretch out their supply. A 
Along with chicory, they use things like acorns or beets. Mm, uh, that does not sound good. I like coffee with chicory. <clears throat> I don't think I'd like coffee and acorns. Uh, or beets. Beets sound disgusting. <laughs> right. Your coffee turned red. From Ew. Oh, that sounds gross. All right, let's get back to it. Next up is couchon de lait. Now, couchon de lait is a French word. It's the roasting of a suckling pig over an open fire until the inside is cooked tender and the outside is bacon-like. Bacon. It's a Cajun French form of heaven. So. Ah, uh, yes, I see. There's a great restaurant in the city called Couchons. Now, next up is crawfish. Everybody loves these things. Everybody here does. A freshwater shellfish resembles a miniature lobster. It's very accessible in this region. Please don't call it a crawdad, even does a that? mud bug, or a crayfish. Who it's does that? Any, anybody not from here. Exactly. So. All right. Next up is Creole. Now, you can refer to a people, a style of cooking, a music, an architecture. See our episode again on Cajun versus Creole to get the full breakdown. Or I can refer Creole. to a tomato. A tomato? It's not beef food, so. Huh. Oh, where are we at? Next up is Crescent City. That's a nickname for New Orleans. Originated from the shape of the Mississippi River at its bend around the city. Well, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this journey of our local terms. Stick around for other episodes as we work our way through the alphabet. I just noticed that <laughs> Please subscribe to our channel. It really helps us. Go visit our website at BigEasyLife.org. Check out our merch store. Get the coolest... Wrong side of the shirt. <laughs> check out the coolest uh, shirt stuff that we have. I just had to check, but that was the plague shirt. Yes. It's a very cool shirt. And as always, thanks for being part of our Big Easy Life.